Joining me now to discuss the rising tensions in the Middle East, former CIA operative, head of the bin Laden tracking unit, Michael Shore. And Michael, uh, both the British and the United States uh, have reportedly uh, made it very clear to Israel they would, uh, they would prefer that there be no military action taken. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, we're, at least in the United States, we're pretty helpless. If the Israelis attack, attack Iran, the power of APEC and the lobby here, they own the Congress, will, will uh, lead to our support for whatever the Israelis do, I think. And in, in an odd way, Lou, it doesn't matter uh, whether we approve what the Iranians do or what the Israelis do to Iran or not, because in the Muslim world, both Shias and Sunnis will regard an Israeli attack on Iran as being sanctioned and supported by the United States, even if we claim to the contrary. So America is on the verge of another war no one needs, and a war that will, can't be won by, from, by air power alone. And so it's really a, a gaping uh, hole we're looking into that's a should, very dark place. Should we be making a distinction, Michael, between war and uh, a, a, a strike uh, to destroy uh, nuclear weapons capabilities? Well, I think there would be a difference if we assumed, we, if we keep punching people, that they won't punch back. The Iranians don't have a military capable of conducting themselves uh, 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 on an even basis with the United States. But within the United States, within Canada, within Mexico, within the Caribbean area, the Iranians have an intelligence and terror apparatus that's perfectly capable of exacting revenge for them here at home much well, more than Saddam, much more than Al-Qaeda. And although they won't use it unless they're attacked, I'm afraid they will use it if our arrogant Israeli friends go ahead and attack the Iranians.